What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to another 5 minute build for Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at Nightmare 4 Throne Room Solo. Let's go ahead and get it started. Uh, the reason I'm doing Throne Room is quite a few people are farming this one now to get those awesome galactic weapons. I personally really, really want one of the monk weapons with uh, some good, good purge evil stats on it for my Serenity R monk. Don't have it yet, so there's still a little farming to do. And this is the build that I use. Now, it's uh, not necessarily the quickest build. Definitely not saying it's the best build, but it is the build that I use. And uh, it's fast enough, gets the job done, and allows you uh, a little bit of AFK time during waves where you can turn around and watch TV or whatever the case is, as it really requires no maintenance at all. Now, uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and set up some Serenity Auras and some boosts. So uh, I'm going to go with a boost there and uh, two Serenities up on this side. Now, uh, the Serenity Aura coverage down on this lane is uh, a little bit suspect. It's not the perfect coverage. However, it's an easy way to do it and only use uh, one boost Aura to cover each, or pardon me, one Serenity Aura to cover each of those lanes. I'm going to go with a boost right there and then head on over to this side for some more Serenity and boost in action. Serenity R right there for those two lanes and one more boost. And now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the Squire. And we're going to get some training dummy action going. One right there. We are going to protect the objective here to uh, eliminate any of those flyers. Just makes things go just a tiny bit quicker. And uh, the training dummies are pretty crucial for the ogres, as the ogres will press all the way up to them. We all know that the uh, PDTs work awesome for a crowd. They're not the best for the single target damage or for uh, ogres in general. So the ogres will come all the way up. Of course, they're going to get teleported back. Now, uh, if you spend the time out and active during the waves, uh, shooting shooting those uh, dummies to get them spinning faster, of course, almost guarantees you an ogre teleport. Now with my PDTs, I'm basically just making sure I have one with direct coverage on wherever my training dummy is, and the others, I'm just kind of overlapping the coverage just to make sure everything's going to get hit. Uh, there will be some gaps here and there. Actually, there's no gaps on that side at all. There, you know, if there's some occasional gaps, no big deal because the PDT usage that we're uh, doing here is without, without a doubt, a little bit of overkill. And then one down the lane itself, we got good coverage there. And then the same thing over on this side with the four, just to cover both of those training dummies and get most of the damage through the lanes. Uh, now, like I said, the only thing that really is going to make it to your training dummies are going to be the ogres. And then with the 400 remaining, I usually just throw some ups around on uh, those PDTs just to get a little bit more power. And like I said, I completely 100% AFK this. Now, in between waves, um, I AFK the active waves, that is. In between waves, I do run around, do some repairs and, and uh, upgrades. But basically my rotation is just upgrade the PDTs. I usually don't up or don't repair the training dummies. I'll usually upgrade them uh, just for the instant and it just saves you a second, uh, particularly if you're doing it during a wave. Actually it doesn't really save you any time at all, but it's just what I do. And then if you do upgrade them once when they get down, you can pretty much ignore that dummy for the rest of the round. So there it is. That's a look at my five minute build for Nightmare 4 Throne Room Solo and my strategy for farming up those galactic weapons. Thanks again for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and there's going to be more DD2 coming soon. See ya!